Hey there, Awaken Leader. Welcome back to another episode on Niche to Nations. This week, we are going to be focusing on breakthrough, okay? Actually, for the entire month of April, we are focusing on breakthrough. And what the Lord keeps telling me, and it's he's just so sweet and loving and kind and such a gentleman, he keeps sharing with me as I would look outside my window, um, April showers bring May flowers. And I'm like, all right, Lord, what are you saying? What are you speaking to me? Because you're not cliche, Lord. You have everything in an appointed time. Lord, speak. Are you ready to hear what real breakthrough prep looks like? Let's get started. Hey there, Awaken Leader. Welcome to Niche to Nations podcast, where I, Angelica Stanley, help you identify your calling and fruitfully prep for online business life. Are you ready for this? Because grab your laundry, enjoy homeschool life, and maybe binge watch all of these episodes while the kids have a snack, okay? Let's be real, mama. Mom life and biz life, walking by faith and not by sight is possible. Today's Mature Monday episode is for you to pray, plan, prep, and proceed into the things that the Lord has called and quickened you to do. Whether it's to write, heal, create, speak, package, launch, and steward that dream business, welcome. My leadership method toward self-publishing and building an online business is for you. This is where your story begins. Let's get started. All righty, Awakened Leader. So real raw and relatable. We are kicking it old school and I am going to just be flowing with you um, as you are tuning in and You know, I'm real raw and relatable in my backyard, enjoying some sun, doing some Bible study. Kids are riding their bikes in the backyard, and we're just enjoying ourselves. And I want to invite you into this moment with me. So I want you to, you know, think that we're sitting at a table together. I'm actually at the table in my backyard, and I want to have this conversation with you just like this, okay? just one-on-one, you and I having this conversation. Now, I know it's a podcast, but I truly believe that Holy Spirit is going to move and work on this. And this is actually a very, very prophetic moment with the kids screaming in the background and life happening. Things move according to the will and speed of God. Okay? So... It doesn't matter what you're facing right now. It doesn't matter um, the the roadblocks or the fears or anything that you think is stopping you or you're not even aware of what is stopping you. Uh, Today, we are going to be exposing some things in order to prepare you for breakthrough, okay? And so the first thing that I want to talk to you about is... The way you think of something is what is the way you do something, okay? So the way the way you think of something is the way you do something. <clears throat> Excuse me. And so when this happens, a lot of the times we show up to something and we already have these negative thoughts and mindsets in our head, right? So here's what happens. If I think dishes are hard, boring, or beneath me, okay, I'm just speaking, right? Then I do them that way and the thought becomes a belief, okay? So if I do the dishes or if I do laundry or if I, you know, write the story, write the book or prepare the podcast or do these things and I think that they're not good enough or I think that I'm not good enough or if I think that my home isn't good enough or if I think 
um, my marriage isn't good enough, or if I'm thinking, I'm just throwing out all of these things that come to hinder our breakthroughs, okay? Because as a man thinketh, so is he, okay? So if I think the dishes are hard, boring, or beneath me, right? Yes, it does show our character and all of that type of stuff, okay? So then, of course, we have to address that. Um, speaking of character, every Thursday, okay, every Thursday on Clubhouse, I host um, inside of the Awakened Leaders Call to Conquer room, I basically host... And I've actually been putting them and posting them um, on YouTube now, but um, I'm hosting it live and it's basically us breaking down and going through the characteristics of Jesus so that we can truly walk out the plans that God has for us fruitfully, okay? So I, if I think the dishes are hard, boring, or beneath me, then that's how it's going to be because I believe that because I believe that. And when I believe that it actually becomes action. So you have the thought, then it's the belief and then it's the action. So just like anything, um, we then start to do things and we think it's okay. And, we start to justify our belief in doing things that are not in the will of God. Okay. And this is where a stronghold comes in. This is where, um, a long time ago, I'm going to go here for a moment, especially in dressing, um, fear. Okay. Fear of doing something. Um, cause this is really, really a big part of my story. Um, even, even since I was little, um, I've always had this fear and God has been addressing this in my entire life. Okay. But I've had this fear of not being safe or like having security. So security and safety has always been an issue in my life. Um, I actually shared a portion of this, um, this morning in a prayer line that I'm connected to. Um, I'll go ahead and leave the info and the link in the, in the description of this podcast. But the reason I'm sharing that with you is, well, for one, it's seven days a week. So if you're ever needing encouragement, a prayer request, um, you know, or just want to connect, um, there is this option for you. Yeah, you can um, connect there and just, I pray it'll bless you. But this morning, um, the pastor on the line, he mentioned you know, we read from Exodus and then he mentioned, um, what, why do we have a hard time listening or why do we have a, f a hard time? And it just got me going because I was like, Lord, why do I have an issue with following through? Why do I have an issue with following instruction? That was his question. Like, why do we struggle with instructions? And so it was, I started to just um, as, um, his wife began to pray, um, the Holy spirit was really speaking to me in the midst of her prayer and was telling me because I was like, what is this? And cause I really wanted to know because I was personally struggling with things. And it's like, um, why does it seem like a distraction here? Like you give me this, you give me an instruction, but then this happens and then this happens and this happens. And it's like, you know, that attention deficit type of thing or that hyperactivity or my focus is lost or things like that. And that's the reason why I focus on, um, a lot of the time, majority of the time on the focus planners. I'll leave a link in the description for this. It, it's essentially for that. Okay. It's essentially for that. It helps you get your water. It helps you, you know, do the practical day-to-day -day things on one sheet of paper without overwhelming you, but it's literally to just keep you on your toes, right? Because the enemy is trying to come in through any crack. He's just trying to come in. He's like a cockroach. Okay. That's how it comes in in the beginning. It's, he's like a cockroach. He he'll send a cockroach to try to get in to your house, into your mind, into your heart, into whatever. And then it's just, well, that's all, you know, that's just where it goes. Okay. Until you get it out. Okay. Now I'm using this metaphorically speaking, but I'm saying if fear comes in like a cockroach, if, 
um, lying comes in like a cockroach, if um, addiction comes in like a cockroach, right? Oh, it's just a cigarette. Oh, it's like a cigarette. Oh, it's just weed. Oh, it's just CBD. Oh, it's just this. But your your family has a history of addiction, then, and here you are doing all of this work, and then something comes like a cockroach, and you're like, oh, it's just a cockroach. Like, no, it's not just a cockroach. It is something that that thing is going to try to lay eggs and just go all over and wreak havoc in your life and everything else. So I know that's disgusting, and trust me, I'm not like a bug person, like, but I'm correlating all of this to go back to original what I said like I had a vision and God reminded me of this um when the Lord turns your light on okay meaning like how he spoke in Genesis let there be light okay and there was light okay the spirit of God was hovering over darkness thank you Holy Spirit okay so it says in the word of God in Genesis verse 1 it says chapter one, verse one, it says in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Verse three, then God said, let there be light. And there was light. This is very powerful in the sense that anytime God is creating or doing a new thing, he's giving it a command, but light is coming into it. So darkness, he's, he's hovering over. It was complete darkness. Okay. I want you to like, seriously, I think I've given this metaphor before, but I want you to like, if you can, like. If you're driving and listening to this, I don't want you to do this because it's not safe, but I just want you to Holy Ghost ride the whip with me, okay? And just heed what I'm saying. And I know the Holy Spirit will minister to you. But if you're in your home listening to this, or if you're in a place where you can go into a restroom or um, like your bedroom, your closet, and close the door and turn the light off, I want you to do that, okay? And if you can't do that right now, then... Okay, so that was real mom life. I had to be mom. (laughs) But um, if you can't do that right now, I want you just to, if you're not driving, close your eyes, okay? And just close your eyes. And then hear me when I read this, okay? I want you to hear, I want you to hear this, okay? With your eyes closed. In the, if you're in, if you're able to be in a dark space, the light is off in the closet, anything like that. And I want you to hear me. It says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form and void, and darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Verse 3, then God said, let there be light, and there was light. Open your eyes, turn the light on if you're in a dark place and there's a light. Open your eyes, in that quick instance, let there be light. I want you to flick on that switch. Now, imagine you're standing in your bathroom and your the light was off, and you turn on the light and you're standing there and when the light was off you didn't see a lot of stuff right but when you turn the light on there was a cockroach there there was a snake there there was a rat there there was shame there there was fear there There was addiction, there was gluttony, there was obesity, there was condemnation, there was idol worshiping, there was um, a sack of weed, alcohol, wine, cigarettes, lust of the flesh like sex, 
at a marriage, um, all of the things that you've done in your past, and you just literally see everything, okay? That's what happens when God turns your light on. The closer you get to him, the more he exposes the enemy in your life. It's not you. It's he's showing you the things that you're called to conquer. The things that you're called to share the power of your testimony because of these things. When you go forth and you conquer them, you've all, we've already overcome this world by the blood of the lamb and by the power of our testimony. The problem is, is we lack the breakthrough we need in order to get the clarity, in order to get the confidence and the consistency to go forth. So we're allowing a cockroach to um, meet another cockroach and have babies. Therefore, we're not able to go forth and do the things in our life. Okay, so let me give you an example. We give um, a fear, okay, in relation to sickness, okay, both are of the enemy and they have a baby, okay, and now that baby is a screaming baby that needs to be fed and fed and fed. And so guess what it needs? It feeds off of. It feeds off of more fear. It feeds off of more sickness. It feeds off of all of these things. And then we're going to expose the devil in the name of Jesus, okay? And so what happens is you're over here trying to birth purpose, but... You've got cockroaches that you haven't addressed in your bloodline or in your daily life, okay? Now, you might be saying, why is it my responsibility that I got to be the one to, you know, and I'm speaking for me because this was my attitude. Why do I got to be the one to do it, Lord? Why do I got to be the one to do it? Your word says that they are to work out their own soul salvation. Like this is how bad it got for me because I was, it was dark. Okay. I'm, I'm addressing these cockroaches because I'm showing you how that I, we overcome this world by the blood of the lamb and by the power of our testimony. Okay. The devil is a liar. Okay. And so I've had to go through certain things and I was like, okay, Lord, it's, it's for, it's not for nothing. It's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. It's for a purpose. What the enemy is meaning for evil. And God showed me so much of me. Okay. God showed me so much of me. He told me, I'm turning your light on and you're going to see every nook and cranny, every place that a demon, a spirit, a generational curse, you're going to see everything. I'm going to show you, you and what you're stacked up against. And I have to mature you into that. And I'm speaking this over you and encouraging you. Don't be afraid of them cockroaches. You get a shoe and you crush it. Okay. And then because we sanitary, okay, then we go and we clean it up and we spray some disinfectant and we make sure all the guts are off of the floor, okay? No remnants in the name of Jesus, okay? Now, I'm being like this because this is how we have to be in the spirit, okay? This is how we have to be in the spirit. So you're like, okay, so how do I crush it? You want to know how you crush a sin? You repent. You repent. Yes, Jordan. Your love and your strength. Yes, Jordan. My son just said with love and strength. Yes, Jordan. That's powerful. You crush it with repentance. And Roman just said Jesus loves you. So you crush it with repentance. By you repenting is like you saying... I'm crushing this sin. I'm crushing this right now. It will no longer. I'm choosing to turn away. Okay. And you going to pick up a paper towel or something to pick up the actual roach that you just crushed. Right. Is you coming out of agreement with it. Okay. It's you coming out of agreement with it. 
Okay. You were announcing it. You saying, I am no longer in agreement with shame. I'm no longer in agreement with fear. I'm no longer in agreement with, you know, whatever your list is. Okay. Now I want to talk to you about the point of when you crush it till you go get the paper towel to pick it up. Okay. That's a walk. That's a few steps. Or maybe you went prepared. Okay. And you had the paper towel in your hand. Okay. That wasn't me, so to speak. Okay. I seen the thing. I crushed it. Okay. That's how we need to do be in the spirit. When the Lord turns that light on and you see something, you need to know that he turned the light on because the greater is he who is in you than he who is in this world. You have every authority to crush it. So we repent. And then we mosey on over and that time where you're getting the paper towel, you're reflecting. Okay, Lord, how long has this been over here? Show me where this has been. Show me all of that stuff. So you're going to get the paper towel or you're going to get the whatever you're doing to clean it up and to pick it up and throw it in the trash or whatever. Because that's where sin goes. It goes in the trash in the name of Jesus. It goes in the pit of hell, which is trash. Okay, the pit of hell is like a big fiery furnace of trash. I want you to think of it that way. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just, I'm speaking. We need to think of what sin is. It's disgusting to God. Okay. It's, he, it, he can't be in the presence of it. That's why he's, that's why when Jesus died on the cross and he was, God, Jesus had to be, was being prepared to be forsaken by God because he was going to assume the flesh of all humanity from past, present, and future from the entirety of time he was going to assume the sin here's the problem god turns your light on you see sin you choose not to repent you choose not to reflect you choose not to crush the cockroach you choose not to go pick up the paper towel or get the paper towel you choose not to walk back and pick it up and when you're picking it up you're renouncing i mean like you're picking it up and about to go throw it in the trash, right? You're renouncing it. You're throwing it in the trash. You're rebuking it, right? You're throwing it in the trash. You're renouncing it, okay? And then you're getting disinfectant, right? And you're cleaning that area, right? And here's why I'm saying this. That's the blood of Jesus, we cover it with the blood of Jesus. We cover this with the blood of Jesus. Any crack, nook, or cranny that the Lord has exposed, we cover it with the blood of Jesus. And we ask that the, by the power of the Holy Spirit, that the Spirit of God just is hovering that said, let there be light, that it go through any space, and that the blood of Jesus seal it, that it be sealed, that it be sealed. In the name of Jesus. Okay? So no flesh can get through this. No flesh can get through this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm having a vision of... Similar to how... The Romans put a stone... Rolled the stone over God... Over Jesus' grave, right? His body and his flesh left... Because of his purity... Okay, because of who he was. Okay, I, we are going to return from to to from ash to ash to dirt to dirt. Okay, like we're gonna return, right? As Adam was created, you know, God breathed; He created him in in from clay and breathed life, and there was life. Okay, we're gonna go back to that because that's what we were created from. Okay, but God went back. Jesus, God in the flesh, went back in the form that he came because that's where he, got, he was created prior to clay. He was created prior to all of this. So thank you, Holy Spirit. God had to, God sent his son so that as that, wow, thank you, Holy Spirit, because that rock that was in the way, yes, that rock, Jesus is the rock. Jesus busted through the rock. So because of the rock, that was there to block him, he didn't need the rock to be resurrected. He didn't need that stone to be removed. We're the ones that needed that stone to be removed. We're the ones that needed to see that when the rock was pulled back, he was no longer there. We were the ones that needed that. So that when we return to the ground 
our bodies return to the ground. The vessel, the 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 ground, the our body, the the the, the mechanics. I want you to think of it as like, um, like the cup, right? You drink the water. It cleanses your body, but the cup, you don't eat the cup. The cup is clay. It's hardened. It's baked. If you have a ceramic glass, like I'm tapping right now, it's ceramic. It was baked. You've gone through the fire. You've gone through things because you had to be refined in order to hold the water, which is the Holy Spirit. That was the vessel that had to be contained. That is what God was protecting in, in your body. So greater is he who is in you than he who is in this world. That's why our spirit goes. We are dead to sin and seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Our soul belongs to Jesus. Your soul is not for sale. So you might be saying, wow, Angelica, this is a lot. I didn't expect this. I didn't either. So let me tell you, once you walk through this process, let me show you where your breakthrough is. Okay. Let me show you where your breakthrough is. When these cockroaches come, when the light comes on and all of these little things are, these critters are there, right? Because we're over here like, oh yeah, we're going to slay this giant. We're going to slay this giant. We're not, we're not, you have to remember that a giant was once a baby. Okay. So Goliath was once a baby. He was tiny. Er, at one point, right? Because I'm sure a giant, you know, that big, and you know, it's going to be, you know, not the average, like what we think of as a toddler, a baby, an infant, right? But you hear what I'm saying? A big cockroach that is trying to make babies was once a baby. It's trying to make those little, little tiny ones that you can't even see sometimes, right? It's trying to make those ones. Those are the ones we're addressing. Those are the ones that we're addressing. We're addressing... The tears, the seeds of a tear before it even becomes a tear in our heart. Thank you, Holy Spirit. My God. Thank you, Jesus. Your breakthrough is in repentance. So you might be saying, why do we, why do we got to do all this? Like, why do we have to get all this stuff? I'm preparing you for breakthrough. You want your breakthrough? You want clarity in your business? You want clarity in your daily life? You want clarity in your marriage? You want all of these things? Like, Lord, I want breakthrough. I want breakthrough. But are you addressing the cockroaches in your life so that they don't grow into bigger cockroaches? Or are you addressing the little giants in your life so that they don't grow into full giants, full manifestations of um, a demon in your life? Okay, I pray this encourages you. I know this is a heavy Monday, but I pray by the spirit of a living God, I pray the shalom peace over you. In fact, let me close this. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for the birds chirping, the owl actually chirping. We thank you for this life and a life more abundantly, Lord God. And most of all, we thank you that you sent Jesus that even when the Romans sealed the stone, sealed the, the grave with the stone, when they removed it, it wasn't just for them. It was for us who believe. It was for non-believers and believers. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that no stone will be left unturned. That no stone will stop you, Lord. No stony heart. Lord, pull out the tiny cockroaches in our lives. Reveal to us what you need us to come against, to repent of, to reflect on, to renounce, and to replace with what your word says. That who the Son sets free is free indeed. That we forgive because you've forgiven us, Lord God. That we be prepared for breakthrough and never go back. Never be afraid to crush a cockroach. In Jesus' name, amen. If you're ready to go forth and breakthrough, and God has called you to write the vision and make it plain, 
to come out of your comfort zone as an author, a speaker, a mentor, and to do ministry, to be the hands and feet, to take what you've learned and been discipled in your church and go out outside of the walls and go out and take a message similar to what I'm doing to you right now. Stay tuned to this message. Hey there, Awakened Leader. Are you ready for a breakthrough in your day-to-day routines, systems, and processes for family and business development operations and management to actually get a result, to see the fruit of the things? What about precision building that focuses on relationship building and client results? Or how about this? Results clients want to grab like hotcakes. That freebie, that masterclass. On the 12th and the 25th, I'm going to be hosting a workshop with a masterclass on the 22nd of April. Okay. So the 12th, we are going to cover day to day routines. Okay. Those daily life habits, those routines, systems, and processes in your family and in your business so that on the 22nd we can meet for a master class that is about 90 minutes to two hours long where I teach you how to package from the outcomes of your overcomes and then on the 26th we meet for results clients want to grab so that you can generate new client inquiries. That means hearing that notification bell. That means, oh, hey, I want to work with you. Hey, what is this? Hey, I really enjoyed your freebie. Do you catch me? Are you ready for business breakthrough? For the month of April, I dipped into the archives, tapped into all of the stuff that I've done since I started Well Valley And I was led to one of the original flyers that I made called Business Breakthrough with Angelica. I'm super, super excited and blessed. I've packaged this for the month of April. This is a monthly masterclass and daily life workshops combined, okay? We're doing the combo here because I truly believe that once you get your day-to-day order of operations together... And I teach you my super secret sauce of how to package from the outcomes of your overcomes. And I show you how powerful it is and how easy it is to get results that clients want to grab your freebie or hit that link in the bio so that you can get new client inquiries that they want to work with you. I'm going to show you the entire process in the month of April. Are you ready for breakthrough? Click the link in the description wellbelly.org forward slash breakthrough. I can't wait to watch your story unfold.